Second Life, a look at nonprofit marketing in a virtual environment. Nonprofit organizations are faced with many obstacles, from the daily operations all the way to receiving funding for their cause. Second Life helps solve some of these issues by creating an emotional connection between the viewer and the organization, allowing nonprofits to operate on a small budget, and creating an additional funding stream for the nonprofit. Just as there are pros and cons to almost everything you do in real life, there are also pros and cons to using a virtual environment. Some of the pros are low overhead cost, you can target a new audience, receive Linden Labs nonprofit discount, and create community engagement. Some disadvantages are many people have limited virtual environment experience and are therefore confused and disoriented when trying to navigate to the nonprofits. Finally, many people don't have a lot of time for this additional virtual world experience. Now let's take a look at three real nonprofits that are using Second Life. We'll begin with Plush Nonprofit Commons, the University of Texas Landing Point for Project Jason, and then finally the American Cancer Society. Plush Nonprofit Commons hosts free virtual offices for nonprofits setting up in Second Life. They hold weekly meetings on nonprofit activities, and currently there are 39 organizations hosted, including Universal Child Incorporated, the Center for Civic Education, and Comic Ground. Basically, Plush Nonprofit Commons is a hub for nonprofits to gather, as well as a launching pad for those individuals wanting to learn about nonprofits. Here's a broader view where we can see Plush Nonprofit Commons being joined by Eco Commons, Aloft, and Health Nonprofit Commons. Together, there are over 100 organizations being served. Project Jason. Did you know that every three minutes a person over the age of 18 goes missing? And the federal government does not investigate these disappearances. Project Jason was created to help bring awareness to this sometimes overlooked group of missing people. Its three main purposes are to spread awareness by disseminating general information about the epidemic of missing persons, educate by delivering presentations and other educational events and materials to participants within Second Life, and generate awareness by distributing their posters, Every Face Tells a Story, that gives a description and tells the story of the missing person. Project Jason is able to raise funds several ways within Second Life. They sell clothes, art, and also can receive donations from individuals. Last, we're going to look at the American Cancer Society, an organization we are all familiar with. Did you know that every year over half a million Americans die from cancer? Well, this is what the American Can Cancer Society is dedicated to fight. They do this through a five-pronged approach of balanced programs of research, education, patient services, advocacy, and rehabilitation. The American Cancer Society has been a part of Second Life for years. Incredibly, all services located in the real world are also available in Second Life. You can go to American Cancer Society Island and find a welcome center, memorial garden, two amphitheaters, and an outdoor meeting area. One of the most popular events run by the American Cancer Society, the Relay for Life, is also hosted within Second Life. In 2004 when it began, there were 99 individual avatars participating and they raised two grand. Just five years later, in 2009, 2,000 individuals participated and raised over a quarter million dollars. So as you can see, the virtual space of Second Life has a real impact on the success of nonprofit organizations. It allows nonprofits to spread their word cheaply and it creates opportunities for them to generate revenue. This has been a look at Second Life, Nonprofit Marketing by Team Kangaroo.